so it is Denver that takes the commanding 15 point win into a 2 1 series lead in these NBA finals. Jalen Wilbon and Stephen A. I will start with you. What's your number one takeaway from game three? Jokic is just unstoppable. Um, he's just a difference maker. They have no answer for him whatsoever. Bam Adebayo is trying his absolute best. There is little to nothing that he can do. We're tinkering towards just saying the word hopeless. If we're getting to that point if we're not all there already. Miami could sit up there and you hope that they can have an answer for Murray, which is hard enough. They have no answer for Nikola Jokic. I think we all know the inevitable is coming. We saw it, a, a glimpse of it tonight. Amen to everything you said. I'm just going to go a different direction and say that Michael Malone knew his team. He challenged him. He challenged him publicly. He, he, he talked about not the result, but the work product. And he got what he wanted. He got the response he wanted from his team from the opening tip. And, you know, that has to bode well for them the way they play. Not just the two 30-point triple doubles, mm -hmm. which is unheard of, but the way they went about it, the entire ensemble, Greeny, they got to feel really good about the way they're coming into game four on Friday night. The thing that comes to mind to me, fellas, is the word historic. You mentioned the two 30-point triple doubles from the Joker and Jamal Murray. But also, the Joker is the only person to have 30, 20, and 10 in the NBA Finals. Ever. And, and I remember at halftime saying that they were going to need some help. And Christian Brown did provide that. But you guys were right. Those two guys did win it for him. But there's history on the other side. This is where we count Miami out, right? All year in the playoffs in particular, this is where they get counted out. And guess what? They still, as an AC, have a chance to tie this series. I still anticipate a long series. I, the thing that I keep thinking about is in game two, Jokic went for his 41 points, but he wasn't able to get anyone else involved. When this team is unbeatable, it's when Murray is also spectacular. Absolutely. And again, it's the assist. It's the timely passes. What that does is activate your five man offense. People are moving or cutting and feeling better about their roles and you get wins like this on the road. So what's Miami do now? That's where, where, where do they go? Stephen A., you mentioned the question. Right. Is there an answer? Well, listen, the, the answer is that, again, Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler have to answer the challenge that Jokic and Jamal Murray present to them. You've got to give your team a fighting chance. This is not the time of the year to depend on role players. You've got to step up and remind everybody there's a reason why you're the face of the franchise, you're the leader of the crew. I'm talking about Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, but here's the other way that you can look at it. You're on the brink of elimination. You're not winning game five in Denver. You got to win Friday night. Because if you don't win Friday night, the NBA Finals ends next Monday night in Denver, Colorado. It's hard to argue, oh, hard to argue with that. Yeah, with, what look, we saw, with what we saw in game three. They, they've been at their best candidly when someone else plays huge for them. Sometimes it's Caleb Martin, sometimes Duncan Robinson, Struess, Gabe Vincent. They're going to need someone That's to do something. That's what it's going to take because Bam has been giving historic, heroic efforts defensively and trying to rebound. But like you guys mentioned, it's going to take a full team effort if they're going to advance. On this night, the Nuggets were just too good. They take a 2-1 lead in these NBA Finals. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.